Hey, it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me because you got nothing better to do, I guess. All right, we're going to do masking using the mirror effect. So basically, we're going to clone ourselves and then use the masking tool to create the illusion. So it goes without saying, make sure you make one continuous shot, record yourself doing both sides of the mirror at the same time, and do it more professional than me because I'm going to show you something where I just realized it. Watch the clip and then watch this corner here. As I go down, the lighting changes. And this is going to cause a problem later on. I realize that because I am just not professional. So if you do do it, make sure the lighting is perfect. Trim your clip. I already put the first part onto the timeline. I'm going to now trim the second part of the clip. And all I need to do is the part where I see myself walking into the mirror and then back out. So let's do that. Around about here, I guess I'm going to start seeing myself actually in the mirror. Yep. So in point. And then all I need to do is record myself leaving the mirror. And that's an out point. There you go. It's that simple. Press OK. Drag that onto the footage or your footage onto the timeline. What I will need to do now is create a chapter point of roughly where I see myself dodging away from the mirror, which is probably about here. I'm going to press the letter C on my keyboard and then I'm going to click and drag this clip in line with the chapter point. So now I'm pretty sure that is perfectly in line. Yep. Okay. All I need to do now is block out this guy here. So I don't actually see him in the footage as I'm coming up. Boof, he's gone. So highlight your clip, mask creator. Very simple to do. Voila. Now, there's a point where I actually lean into the mirror, so that's probably where the furthest point, the mask is going to go, around about here, I would imagine. And I'm going to use the pen tool, or the freehand tool, and I'm just going to trace out roughly where I'm at. Oh, there, right to the corners, like so. Ugh. Ugh, I need better glasses. There you go. Now I'm going to use the invert mask. And I'm going to create a slight feather effect here. So it kind of just blends in nicely. And I'm going to press OK. So there you go. I've disappeared. So you can see where the color changes. It's really going to... See now, I'm... there you go. That's what I'm talking about here. Because the colors change in the marks I've put on just highlights it even more. But anyway, I'm here to show you how to do this effect. So bam, I've come in. And then I'm leaving and I'm coming back up. Now, here's the tricky part. As I'm coming up, I should see myself in the mirror, but because I've used the masking tool, I can't. And that's the part that I need to then fix. So ding, ding, ding. And here's where we're going to do it. I'm going to expand it to, um, to fit the project. And right about when I'm going to pop up, I realistically should see myself about here. I'm going to splice, splice my clip double click on the bottom layer and then I'm going to go into my blend mode and I'm going to go screen like so so now you can see me coming and I'm just going to change the opacity slightly until I'm a little bit more clearer or here you go so one fades in and one fades out and I don't mind that because that can be a good illusion so let's have a look at that there you go and again lighting does play a huge part I'm going back into the blend mode I, I'm going to tweak the gamma slightly because I think I can push that a little bit more. There you go. Now more clear. Let's have a look. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Okay. So it's not 100% professional, but you get the idea of what we're doing here by using the mask tool. There you go. Up I come. So one fades in, one fades out. Beautiful. Actually, you know what? doesn't look too bad. And again, I could probably tidy this this little area up here by playing into the mask tool and with the feather but again i'm here to show you how to do it not how to be perfect at it this is <laughs> you can do that and it really comes down to lighting to be honest because i can show you the next clip where it is blends in nice and perfect all right let's uh let's see how i did the coffee cup trick i got my footage on the timeline timeline right click and i'm going to multi trim this so i can get the parts of the video that i actually need there you go. Let's open that up. So all I need to do is at first have the point where I'm sitting down and pretending to drink coffee, probably about here in point, uh, to the point where I'm going to 
also react to him leaving. So that's probably what that, yep. Out points, and now I need to know where I come in through the door. So obviously I go out, change my shirt, come back. Just before the door opens, I'm gonna create it. Man, I take a long time to change my shirt. Here you go. Just back slightly. In point, same thing. Probably go to the point where as I'm leaving, closing the door, crash. Out point, press OK. So now I've got two trim clips onto my timeline. And now all I have to do is find this position of where I roughly come into, into view. So probably about, I would say here. Now I'm going to show you how I did it actually. I'm going to bring this on the timeline. I already created a chapter point. And what I did now is I dragged the overlay clip over a bit so I could kind of get a better visual. Now for those who don't have this, it goes in the full screen. Go into settings, preferences, go into the edit tab. Here we go. It's just a bit slow because my computer's... It was around when Jesus was a baby. There you go. Edit. And just check, uncheck this, use to fit screen. This way it'll come onto the screen at this size and not at full size. We're going to press OK. So as you can see, I'm reacting. I'm putting my coffee cup down and I shoot. Right, so I'm probably a little bit late on this clip. A very slight adjustment, just slide it over a little bit. And I think that should be OK because cup down door open yep and as you can see as I'm leaning forward I'm leaning back on the other clip so that's good now just highlight that clip right click fit the screen and it should be good to go all I need to do now is then create the mask again so here we go mask creator it'll launch the mask creator as it did before here we go really is slow today I tell you Fear not, it does work eventually. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't do what I do. Okay, I'm going to watch to the point where my arm just about picks up that coffee cup, which is about here. And all I need to do is create a mask around about here. So I can use the pen tool now, so or the, the pencil tool. This is fine, like so. Yep. And all I need to do now is fill the rest out. And I can do something as simple as grab the square, make it all the way across. Now, I always like to use the pen tool because it's way, way faster than sitting and doing all this. I'm just demonstrating different ways we can do this. Okay. And I think that should be about right. Again, I'm going to create the feather, but ever so slightly. But here is fine. Probably didn't even move it at all, did I? <laughs> All right, let's see how that looks. Okay, coffee cup down. I walk in, grab the coffee cup, and bam, that's it. Now you'll see here, it, uh, it the illusion is much better compared to the first clip because I actually spent time setting up the lighting so I wouldn't create that really weird look. And there you go. That, 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 that. Grab my coffee, yay. Oh, where's he going? And that's it. All right. So all I did then after this, I added the sound effects in it, added some music, and then I color graded my footage. And at the end result, my footage looked like this. And I did just a very simple uh, a color grade by using a LUTs, and I did a slight adjustment. And again, that all depends on what type of footage you have. But here is all done neatly for you. And there you go, my friends. It is this simple to use the Mask Creator and trust me, you can come up with some really creative ideas. And as always, I'm rambling, so as you do, thanks for watching.